Hey everybody, we're back uh, with this old cowboy here from a bandsaw blank. Uh, this is what we're shooting for. Uh, I'm going to change the hat up a little bit. Uh, 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 but basically everything else will be kind of the same but uh, I'm gonna set that right up here and I'll show you what I did on, after I got off camera I smoothed this leg up here and I got the head down I even started scooping this out in here uh, uh, but I'm gonna try to do this side uh, the same as I got this side it may take a little bit longer because this is a really hard piece of wood, so bear with me on that. So with that, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a, a, these big old Swiss made gouges here, and uh, I'm gonna start working on this neckerchief area, and just kind of smoothing that a little bit. You don't have to have big tools like this, but occasionally when I have a hard piece, real hard piece of wood. Uh, I, I, I break these things out because they, they got a lot of backbone and they're stiff and there's no giving uh, in, in them but they're still it's, it's hard wood and uh, occasionally you get a piece of hard wood uh, now I'm going to start this neckerchief here and start it, it to uh, I want it to stick out a little bit so I'm a, I am going to take a, a a smaller V and come in here and start outlining my my neckerchief and I'll bring it on around let's see kind of like I did right there I'll work around uh, let's see right in here Now this is a really hard piece of wood, so it's it uh, it's going. This one's going to take me a little bit longer. But not to worry. You just keep keep shaving away at it. Sometimes on a big piece like this, you just you just start shaving away at it and uh, <clears throat> and not try to take a real big bite of wood in here you just start can you get that there Peyton I'll start working over toward that neckerchief with my knife and we got one of them when you get a piece this hard you you just want to kind of uh, shave lightly at it not trying to take big old bites because it'll wear you out I want that neckerchief to stand out first and then I can taper this shoulder you see it's a little high in here I'll have to taper this shoulder and, and the arms a little bit Just got to keep working at it. <clears throat> and you can, you can uh, wet the wood sometimes, but I generally just like to try to do it with what I got. Yeah, let me see, and then I'll take the, my V and go back over it to even that up. Did you see what I got going right there? I got to bring it down some more. There, still not down all the way. Uh, so. Let's see here. I'm going to try to take this gouge right here and start working away 
like this and getting even and that's the beauty of these gals is you can take them and you can really choke up on them and uh, and hold them and they cut good for you I just about got got it down I want to bring that shoulder down a little bit more this on my knee just so I can have something to hold on to and you see how I kind of roll that gouge still a lot of wood we got to take off in there see how it's starting to develop there well, it's looking pretty good I just about got it there I'll do a little bit more carving here <clears throat> now on this on this piece like I said in the beginning I'll uh, I'll get this side if I if I don't finish like I got over here I'll go ahead and finish it up do a little bit of work off camera and then but I will explain to you what I've done and uh, well, what I did okay let's see let me take I'm gonna take uh, let me see here I'm gonna take this big old big old V right here And start working that neckerchief a little bit more. Yeah, that's coming right along. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the smaller one here. I didn't hear them. And now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to start tapering this shoulder like I've got it in there. These shoulders right here, they're pretty even. But what i got to do now is come in here and i start about right in here. I've got a line drawn right in there where that bend of that elbow is. And I'm going to start shaving away at this. And bring that shoulder in a little bit or that that arm area in this just needs a little bit yeah maybe yeah that's about the right I'm going to do a little bit more here. Now I'm going to taper it down this way. Just like that right there. Now, I'm going to draw in where, 
where that arm will be and then we're going to start shaving this off in here and that that'll make this look a little bit better in here <clears throat> that arm will be about right in there where that pocket is all right now <clears throat> i'm gonna i'm gonna start out with a knife I'm going to start shaving this away and creating more of a chest area in here. And you see what I'm doing there? And I'm using a an upsweep knife right here on this. Let's kind of round this neckerchief a little bit right up in here. You get that right there, Peyton? Yep. All right, let me on. Let's roll, roll, roll over this way. And trust me, this is a, I know I've said it, but this is a tough piece of wood. Especially when you go across grain here, it, it gets rather tough. What are we looking at on time there, Peyton? I like to keep up with my time. Mm, got about 12 minutes. Oh, well, good. I got, I got some good time. All right, now, I'm going to take this high point, and I'm going to come down and start rounding this area down in here toward my leg. Like that right there. Now, yeah, see, it's starting to shape up. Let's round this shoulder a little bit more now. Now yeah, that's beginning to meet. About to look the same. Now, right here I've got this arm rounded, so I'm going to come in here and start kind of rounding this arm right up in here. I'm working over right here to where my neckerchief is in the back. See, I've got it cut in here, and uh, I've, I've got to cut this away. Matter of fact, let's, let's go in, and I'll put a little cut right here. So that, that'll be exposed. Like that right there. And then we can cut this back. Over to my neckerchief. See how that's coming in there? Well, yeah, that busted out on me. You gotta watch it. I'll just start making some little cuts right in here. All right. Well, I do have that showing in there now. And that's what I wanted. There we go. Okay, now I can start rounding this arm right here over to my line. And rounding that shoulder a little bit more. Let's, let's uh, 
get in here and kind of clean this neckerchief up a little bit. That's some little rough areas in it. Alright, now I'm ready to taper this down. And when you got a hard piece like this, it's it's it, you try to stay on this high point and cut that high point off, and it's not as hard to cut that way. I kind of look at it and see how it looks like from both sides there. Kind of match them up. Can you see that all right in there, Peyton? Yep. All right. Yeah, this is this is tapered in more. I need to really come in here and taper this in a little bit more. And when off camera, I'll just go in and I'll refine this. That's, it's getting close in there. You just gotta keep, keep working at it till you, till it looks right to you. I don't have any kind of formula or anything like that to use for you. You just got to eyeball it back and forth till, you, till it looks what you, the way you want it to look. It's looking good from this side here. I'm, I'm liking that. Oh, let's see here. A little bit more out right in here. And on this, you see I'm pushing with my with my wrist and my thumb at the same time. Yeah, that's getting to where I want it to be. Okay, I just need to do some scooping out right in here and develop where that pocket is going to be. And bring it on down to where my leg is. Pretty much right there where I need it to be. A little sharp right in there so I'm gonna take my tool and get that off that looking good all right I need to put in take out a little bit more wood there and give him a little bit more behind right back here and back pocket area.
I need to bring this over a little bit more. What's the time looking like, uh, Peyton? You got about five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. Let's see here. I'll redraw all my lines. Yeah, that looks that looks correct. It's close enough. Uh, now, I do want to start uh, rounding this uh, foot a little bit. I got to take this little piece off here. Let's see here. Let's go this way now. This was this piece right here is when I cut it out on the bandsaw it kind of kept my carving straight that's why I left it there now you could fashion you a, a spur back in there but uh, uh, this this guy he doesn't have any spurs he just uh, <clears throat> just got boots on what we're gonna do now is start rounding this leg a minute and Peyton's gonna let me know when we're getting close to. But on, on this guy here, um, I'm going to, I'll do a lot off because I don't want to bore you. I, I did uh, on, uh, on my last YouTube, I did the carving the farmer straight through where you saw everything I did but you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing on this guy here and right now I'm just taking these sharp corners off and I'll go back in and I'll make these legs a little bit thinner and I'm going to use a gouge and I'll show you how I do that when I I'll leave a little bit to show you on what I'm doing. Let's get this leg. Well, let's see here. Let me take this big gouge here. Oh, I got to do the inside here. I just want to get these legs rounded. And you see how I'm starting to round them. I could do, I could go a lot faster if this wood wasn't so hard. But like I said, this is, this is a fairly hard piece here. Grain changes on this kind. Sometimes on the wood, when it's this hard, it'll change on you. But okay, uh, I'm going to stop right there, and off camera, I'm going to go in and get everything symmetrical, and then I'm going to start working on this. Start rounding this face, and get the sh get the shoes rounded. I did this one already. I'll do this one here. Uh, uh, but I'm gonna, uh, I, and and then uh, I'll show you how I fashion the head, and we'll start scooping out uh, where these arms are gonna be, like right in here. But I got to get it to this point right here. But uh, everybody, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we're gonna be doing a lot more on the next few videos. So with that. Uh, happy carving to everyone, and we'll see you on the next video.
See you later. Bye.